Communication difficulties appear rather early on in the disease and progress until the very end. This is a significant source of frustration and limitations for the affected person as well as for caregivers. In order to ensure the well-being of the affected individual and to prevent isolation, it's very important to maintain communication in one form or another. The affected person may be capable of making a request one moment and then be incapable at another moment. The person has no control over the situation. Communication problems with affected individuals include difficulty speaking clearly, difficulty starting a conversation, and difficulty organizing incoming and outgoing information. Speaking clearly. Speaking requires coordination of movements of the mouth and tongue as well as breathing. The disease affects the use of muscles, so speaking clearly becomes gradually more difficult. The person may speak too loudly or too softly, too quickly, or making long pauses. Starting a conversation. Persons affected with Huntington's have difficulty beginning a conversation. They lack spontaneity, so they need external stimulation in order to communicate effectively. Organizing information. Affected individuals have difficulty putting thoughts into words. They have access to less vocabulary, and certain words are difficult to find. It's difficult to understand complex information, to organize information, and making decisions. Short-term memory is affected, and concentration deteriorates. Reading and writing also become increasingly difficult. The complexity of a task is often underestimated. For example, before getting dressed, you need to know what the weather is like and what activities you'll be doing. You need to be sure that the clothes are clean, that the colors match, and you need to organize the order in which they should be put on. The affected person cannot prioritize all this information. Here are some strategies. Give the person enough time to answer questions, to express themselves, to read or to write. It's not necessary to speak slowly, but rather use short, simple sentences. Change the way you ask questions by giving choices, preferably two. Do not talk for the person, but ask the person to repeat themselves if necessary. If the person loses track of the conversation, help them get back into it. Do not neglect nonverbal language. This is an important aspect of communication. Request speech therapy services. Think about using a communication board, cards with pictures or other techniques to help the person express themselves. Make a family album or a memory book to initiate or support conversations. If the person has lost their ability to express themselves, do not stop speaking to them. This will only increase their feeling of isolation.